Hi loves, welcome back. So today's video is an interesting one. I am reviewing the YSL Blurring Primer. So if you want to see if this $52 primer is worth the money, then just keep on watching. So this does retail for $52 and it is supposed to blur your skin hence the name, and then it is also supposed to boost the radiance of your foundation. This is what the bottle looks like. It is stunning. It is so heavy duty. The bottle is glass, so it's very heavy, and the top is so cute. Like, look at this gold packaging. I'm obsessed. So it does it come with a pump, as you can see, and then in the bottle, it does have, like, gold flecks in it. I'm not sure if that is, like, real gold or just, um kind of like sparkles to enhance the radiance, you know what I mean? A little bit of illuminating. So we are going to test this $52 primer against a drugstore primer. And this is the Maybelline Baby Skin. And this primer is only $7 at the drugstore. So I'm going to do half of my face with the YSL and then half of my face with the Maybelline Baby Skin. I'm interested to see if the YSL primer is actually worth the $52. So we're going to test it out. It doesn't claim that it's like long wearing. It doesn't claim that it's going to like smooth out your pores. It just says that it's going to blur your face and add a little bit of luminosity to it. So let's get into this. On the right side we're going to go in with the YSL and then on the left side we're going to go in with the baby skin. The consistency is a really clear like jelly um, formula. It does have specks of sparkle in it, like gold sparkle, so I'm assuming that's why it's illuminating. I'm not sure. It does have a smell. It smells exactly like the YSL All Hours Foundation. Very luxurious. It kind of smells like a perfume in a way. Just by the touch right now, it feels really nice. So I'm just going to rub this in. It feels really smooth right off the bat. The YSL primer is on the right side. Can you guys tell a difference right away? Um, I can kind of see that on my forehead, this side is more matte compared to this side. I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but definitely seeing that. It did really make my skin look more matte than radiant, which that's a little weird because it's an illuminating, blurring primer. Um, I don't really see the sparkles on my skin that much, like at all, really. Not sure where they went. <laughs> it's definitely really slippery and it just kind of feels like oily in a way. So we'll see, we'll see. So next I'm going to take the Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser. And this also is that clear consistency. This is supposed to fill in the pores and smooth out your skin. So both primers are on. I cannot tell a difference honestly at all. They both look really identical. Um, let's feel the YSL. Yup, it still has that slippery texture to it. So I'm going to go finish the rest of my face. I'm just going to use a beauty blender to blend out all of my foundation and concealer. And then I will be back to show you guys if there's a difference or not. Okay, so I am back. Makeup is complete. And remember, this is the YSL side and this is the Maybelline Baby Skin side. Honestly, there's no difference. There is no difference between these primers. I don't see any little tiny difference. You know I'm always truthful. You know I would brag about this sucker if it was worth the $52, but I 100% say pass on this. It's not any different than this. If you don't want to go out and splurge, get the Maybelline Baby Skin because it works just as well and it looks identical. I just feel like a primer that's $52 should really stand out to you and like completely smooth out your skin if it's going to say it's going to blur out, but $8, $52. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little review on the YSL Blurring Primer. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave for more reviews like this. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye loves!